Well, hey guys, glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Welcome to the channel. Um, if you're if it's your first time, welcome. Uh, if you're here to hate on me, welcome. I, I don't care. Um, this video is kind of a long time coming, right? Um, I've been following this creator for many of years. This is the main reason I started making content. Uh, I started making content over a decade ago on YouTube and Twitch and TikTok and Instagram. And I've never had really much success, but I've, I I say my personal games are really sentimental to me. Especially the channel as it is right now. I have a lot of people that still watch me, and I love every single one of you. Uh, I'd love for this channel to grow. Hopefully one day it does. But it kind of pains me to make this video, even though I've made uh, maybe two or three videos in a row recently uh, about this specific person. Um, now, this isn't me dogpiling. This isn't me trying to hurt his image. This isn't me hating. Uh, if you're looking for that, you're, you're at the wrong place. Uh, if you have input, feel free to put it in the comment section. Um, I, I like to see it. And hopefully, Boogie, if you see this, um, let me go ahead and go ahead and tell you, I, I'm still rooting for you. I'm still rooting for you, okay? Okay? Despite uh, what you see on Twitter, what you see on Reddit, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, you still have people that actually care about you. Now, this trailer is called The Dark Sad Life of Boogie2988. It's actually a full-length documentary that comes out later this month in October. Uh, it's actually a pretty big thing. As you guys know, uh, Boogie used to be one of the biggest creators on the platform and had a moniker of the, what, what was what was his name? Mr. Rogers of the Internet. Very wholesome content. Uh, I followed him since, well, over a decade, I think, um, before he got into his uh, hundreds of thousands. I've been watching this guy. Um, I like to root for the underdog, and I always thought Boogie was the underdog. I thought, I was like, Here's here's a guy. He's a nerd. He's lost everything. He does, he's had a bad life. He came out of it. He's got millions of followers. He's got many of the wars. He's got many things he's got to do that a lot of us can never dream of. Uh, he got married, which is great, but it fell apart. Um, throughout the years, I've actually tried to reach out to Boogie, and I've been successful every once in a while. Um, there for a while, I was a super fan, um, and as embarrassing as it is, I was contacting, I was like, oh, I love you, Boogie, blah, 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 blah. Um, and it, ever since then, like, I, I've still been watching him. I, I haven't watched as many videos as of late. Um, you could say I kind of fell off the train a little bit, concentrating on life in general, my life. Now, there was a lot of parallels, sort of. There were some parallels. I always uh, thought me and Boogie was kind of alike in certain ways. Um, we've had some bad things happen to us. We've fallen on bad times and rose to the top. Now, I've never rose completely to the top, but I like to think where I am now is a really good place. Let's go and face it. Uh, a few years ago, I was a big piece of shit loser. Um, you know, I was fatter, I was almost 400 pounds. I uh, couldn't hold a job down. Uh, I lost everything I owned. I was sleeping on an air mattress in the floor. Then finally we got a uh, bed that was given to me by uh, an uncle that was going to be tossed. Uh, I stayed in a room for about three or four years. Uh, about um, not, that, not very big. Um, but I was very thankful for what I had. Um, I met the girl of my dreams who loves me for who I am. And treats me like a human being. Even though, even though, I can be obnoxious sometimes and annoying and pesty. Is that a word? Um, I have a good job. I have a car. I'm very fortunate from where I am right now compared to where I was a few years ago. Especially with the YouTube channel. Uh, there for a long time, I had hardly anybody watching my content. Um, and I never took it serious. And I've been trying to take it as serious as possible as the last few years, and it's actually done pretty good for me. 
I'm not saying that I'm a multi-million subscriber channel and I make millions of dollars. I don't. I don't really make money on YouTube really anymore. But to see a channel like Boogie uh, with well over 4 million subscribers, uh, watching this guy who had a really rough life, um, apparently, uh, some people will say he lied. Some people believe him. And some people are in the middle. I myself, I can, I, I, I'm right there in between the middle and believing. I, I, I believe some of the stuff he said has happened. Um, I like some of the things he talks about. Um, in the trailer, I've seen before. I, I've never been on huge podcasts or up in front of a stage of hundreds of people and millions of people watching, getting an award for being an awesome content creator, a gamer. Um, and I always looked, looked up to this guy. I always did. I always did. I was borderline creepy sometimes. Um, you know, I, I've reached out a few times to say, hey, man, why don't you come on? We'll talk about mental health. Uh, we'll talk about you. Um, there's nothing I would love more than to have one of my favorite content creators, a person that I still look up for and root to root for to this day, even despite the things that's happening. Uh, I would love to have you on my channel. Now, this isn't a dick sucking fest, which some people might think so. Um, man, I think the big thing is bothering me though. It's like, and I've mentioned this a few times. Uh, Boogie is he's he lives on the internet. Um, a lot of us content creators, we live on the internet. We live, we breathe interactions. Uh, rather be tweets, uh, you know, messages, DMs, uh, likes, dislikes, whatever. I think at this point, Boogie, this is where I think he's at right now. I think Boogie concentrates more on the bad than he does the good. Um, you know, he puts himself out there and a lot of the internet hates him. Um, for dumb reasons, for stupid reasons. Um... You know, you breathe the wrong way on the internet, people are going to hate you for it. They're going to want you to die. They're going to send you death threats. They're going to call, contact your family. Or they're going to dox you or show up to your house and you have to pull a gun on them. And, sh and that's something Boogie did, which was not a very smart thing to do. Um, maybe out in the country in West Virginia or here in Southern Ohio, somebody comes to your porch and Motherfuckers try and cause some problems and threatens your family or yourself. Maybe it's a good idea to bring out a gun here, but not in the suburbs of a populated town where a school is kind of close by. Uh, the bad thing about it is when you fire off that bullet, you are responsible for that bullet. Uh, so you're firing it up in the air, the bullet comes down, strikes a dog or uh, a lady or a baby or something like that. You are responsible for that. Uh, so that person could die. That animal could die. Uh, you could, I don't know, hit something. Maybe a bird. I don't know. Um, that's one of the things I, I wish you'd never done. Um, I understand. I understand you were scared. You were scared for yourself and your dog and your friend and your home. But not not, not where you're not in the suburbs, man. Uh, in the country, that's fine. In the country, that's fine. Especially in the South and stuff like that. That's perfectly fine. Uh, West Virginia, the Bible Belt, you... People understand. People... I got something in my mouth. What the fuck is that? Um, but anyways... Um, I've been watching Boogie for years. Uh, I've watched... Uh, watched him a lot. Uh, up until... Uh, after his surgery. After he got the weight loss surgery. Um, which is cool. Because I got the weight loss surgery too. And failed that. Um... I don't think I felt that. I did lose a lot of weight, and uh, I've gained some back, but I've been doing a whole lot better losing weight again. Uh, but after that specific thing happened, I think it's where Boogie's channel and life kind of spiraled out of control. Um, and apparently this is a known thing. If, if you have the surgery, I guess... Uh, statistically, that after a couple years, if you're a married person, usually it en ends up in divorce. I don't know if that's just because, you know, the behavioral change or whatever. I know whenever I had it done, I was more stubborn. 
I am still stubborn. Um, hopefully the God uh, above us, I never get a divorce because I don't know what I would do without Mrs. Bitts. Um, she means the world to me. It was sad to see Boogie lose somebody like that, have to go through that. You know, my parents got divorced. It was a nasty divorce back in the day. It was fucking terrible. Uh, divorce is nasty. Um, and I'm sure you guys know that. Um, but we're not, you know, I don't want to talk about my wife's parallels with Boogie, but some of us similar. Um, a lot of people found Boogie a couple different ways. Um, Ray William Johnson, I think that's his name. I always call him Ray William Scott, but I think it's Ray William Johnson, uh, or just Ray Williams. Uh, he was a, he was a big YouTuber back in the day, like one of the early pioneers. Uh, he would show clips of um, uh, videos that got released and make them go viral. He was kind of pretty much a reaction uh, channel before reaction channels became a huge thing. And it was the, the Mountain Dew thing and the Francis stuff, uh, which Francis is the character he created. It was a over-exaggerated nerd that loves Mountain Dew and rage, fit, rage quits life, basically, all the time. Breaking shit and all that stuff. A lot of people love that. A lot of people love that. You know, some people that found Boogie through the Draw My Life thing. Uh, if you guys haven't watched the Draw My Life thing in Boogie tonight, I highly recommend you watch it. Uh, some people will say it's bullshit. I'm not here to say it isn't, because I don't know. I, I wasn't there. Uh, I watched it, and the things that were presented, I took them as face value. And, you know, like I said, I felt sorry for the guy. Sucks. Um, really sucks. Really sucks. But they did release a trailer uh, for this. Uh, let me go ahead and tell you this. Billy, uh, Boogie, he has over 4 million subscribers. He's losing his channel. Uh, he's not getting views anymore, really. Not that much. He's not making the money he used to. He's uh, losing everything he owns. Uh, I'm not going to put up a charity because, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to ask you guys for money to give to somebody that's probably better off than most of us. Uh, and I hate to say that, but, you know, Boogie is a still a big channel, give or take. Um, but they released a trailer for this documentary. I guess it's been shot for maybe nine months, give or take, and it has a lot of content from his past and to his current day. And it's very emotional, and I'd like to go ahead and play through that. If that's okay, I'm going to go ahead and play through it, and maybe, maybe you guys can see what I mean. Let me go ahead and... Oh my fucking gosh! <laughs> that's not going to work at all! That's not going to... We're, we're, we're not putting my face in there. Fuck that, dude. That's that's stupid. That's a bad thing. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm a 48 year old man in a fucking online space that's dominated by 20 year old kids. I'm sick. I'm old. I'm fucking dying. I wake up every day and do the same shit over and over again, expecting different results, and I never get them. But I just keep doing, keep trying. He's a legend on YouTube. He's been around forever. He's, he's a, I, I thought it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Like I remember. Like What's in Blake's drill on YouTube? Look at you. I'm good at this. I can handle it. Go fuck yourself. Sweet 2988. He's 2988. So I'm asking, I'm asking for your help as we head into the holidays. I need $7,000 a month. I'm not making $7,000 a month. And I have no clue. Uh, I made some money off of YouTube last month, but I did not make enough without a sponsor or something. Like, this is going to keep me from going out on the, on, on the streets, right? Like, this is going to keep me in the house. So, guys, can I introduce you to the love of my life? Because I love him and just imagining a life without him is This is where I spend six to eight hours a day trying to figure out how to save my career. What's, what is your my risk for stroke or heart attack is astronomical. And I, I hope to 
to win, win your love and your views. This is a guilt trip. He's guilt tripping his audience like, and like he kind of shames people that don't watch his videos. And turn it off. We'll go ahead and turn the rest of it. I, I, I'm trying to do this all in one take, okay? And I, I usually try to do this. I wanted to play at least most of it. Now it's pretty much all the trailer. Um, as you've seen, um, it's pretty, pretty emotional. Pretty well put together. Um, pretty well put together. I, I, and I'm hoping that I, we talk about redemption arcs, right? Um, where we see somebody that loses it all get back, pick themselves up, and go for it, and go, oh. becomes bigger than what they were before. Um, just like Obi-Wan says, uh, they'll be back, but more bigger numbers. Um, I, I like that. I, I like the underdog story, right? I like that. I like Rudy and stuff like that. Uh, radio, uh, whatever. But I, I, I hope, and I hope, and there's a couple things that could have happened. Uh, if the redemption arc was going to happen, there's two key things, well, key events that should have done the done the trick. One would be his fight with Wings of Redemption. Now, we call these creators lol cows. A lot of people make fun of them, especially if they're a dying channel or, um, you know, they hate them. They just like to troll them. They call them lol cows. Um, and they called the fight a lol cow fight. It was between Boogie298 and Wings of Redemption. Um, I think a lot of people started tuning in a little bit more with that fight to both Wings and Boogie. Um, I ultimately Boogie ended up losing the fight, um, and you know I myself has been in the the fight thing I was going to do, but it never happened, it never materialized. I was hoping that might have helped a little bit. I think it did just a tiny bit. But if there's going to be a redemption to happen. I think that's going to lie within this documentary. Um, I think if people see it and they learn things about Boogie, maybe there's some things in there that we don't know about. Uh, apparently, this is very, very uh, powerful, apparently, I guess. That's what he said. And I watched his reaction to it. I guess he'd never seen it before. Um, he never seen the actual trailer before it happened. It, it was pretty well shot, too. Um, this is actually a pretty well-produced uh, piece of work. I don't know how many people are going to see it, though. That's one problem. Um, I'm hoping with word of mouth and uh, the Internet collectively joins in and puts you know aside the vitriol and we're like, hey, let's watch this. Let's see what it's really about. Maybe Boogie's not the monster we think he is. I'm hoping that maybe this will be his redemption arc. Um, I'm I'm still low key like rooting for him. Uh, somebody on Reddit, I I posted a video on his Reddit. I was like, hey man, would you like to join for an interview about mental health and tell your story? And somebody replied back to me said it wasn't worth it. And I did reply back. I was like, maybe you're right. Um, you know, I'm still low key rooting for him. And the problem is, too, is the fact that Boogie concentrates a lot on the negativity, um, especially when interactions on social networks. Uh, he replies more to the people that leave bad comments or trolling than he does to people that actually enjoy his content and has been there forever. Uh, this isn't me trying to be sour or salty that I never had a chance to talk to Boogie on a personal level. Um, I think at first it kind of was, because, you know, part of me was like, man, I really tried to reach out. I really tried to uh, be somebody to that was on your team. Um, maybe maybe I am a little bit salty about it, I guess. But I am a small channel. Uh, you know, 2,500, 2,600 subscribers compared to like 4.3 million, you're most likely not going to have a chance. I'm hoping that day does come. Uh, Boogie, personally, personally, let's go ahead and say this. If you're watching this all the way through, uh, thank you. Thank you for watching this. Uh, if you're watching the channel for the first time, 
and you're either here to hate me or dislike me or uh, like me or love me. I, I don't know. I don't care. Um, thank you for at least giving me a chance to explain how I feel about things. Uh, a lot of people think this trailer is very pandering and it actually tugs on your emotions as a way to exploit um, viewers, uh, take advantage of viewers. I don't know. I don't think that. That's me. I don't think that. Personally, that's my opinion. I don't think that. Um, I'm going to watch it, and I will talk about it. I will review this uh, documentary. Sure, I will. I actually showed it to my wife, and she too wants to watch this. And I hope you guys that are watching, if 50 people or 1 million people watch this, um, I hope you guys give it a chance to. Uh, at least, I don't, like I said, I don't care what side you are on the fence. I think this is probably a pretty important YouTube documentary. Uh, you, Boogie is part of YouTube history. Rather it be good or bad, he's still part of YouTube's history. Um, and I think this documentary, depending how well it does, it should be celebrated or it should be just tossed in the garbage. Um, I am sitting on a fence here because, you know, part of me wants the Boogie to have redemption. And the other part of me is like, man, like, you've done this to yourself. Um, I've been in a hole and I had to dig myself. I put my own self in the hole and I had to dig myself out of it. And we all have. Every single one of us probably has. Except for the ones that was born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Um... Yeah, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, be sure to check out Boogie's channel. Uh, I love you guys very much. I'll see you soon.